Hi everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. Today I am participating in a um, series called Try It Tuesday. And first I wanna show you this is my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If, if you're not new, hi. And I love doing everything DIY. I love doing Dollar Tree items. I love doing wreaths and I love doing some thrift flips. So this is hosted by Unicorn Dust Designs. Her name is Sammy, and I will have her link down below to her channel. You definitely gotta check her out. She is an awesome DIYer. And also I have um, the co-host, Christy Creates, and I will have her link down below. Definitely check her out as well. And if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and please leave me a comment. I love to hear what you guys think. So my first DIY is by Monarch Mom DIY. And this Try It Tuesday is all about trying out other crafters DIYs for ourselves and just trying them out. So what she did is she took some shutters and um, she made a patriotic like type of shutter. So that is what I am doing here. And I got the I got these from my local thrift store. Goodwill and I took some antique wax and I went over it with that first the Waverly antique wax and then I just painted it and then I wiped it down so you could see that natural wood come through now these are actually believe it or not these are vent covers they are not shutters but I am going to make them look like shutters so I took some of my blue and my red and my white Waverly chalk paint and I made a flag looking um, shutter with them and I used ocean blue, crimson, and then the white. And then I came in with my finger sander and I just sanded everything down because I wanted it to be look really rustic and old, like an old shutter. And so that's what I did there. So I went in really good with my um, sander. And then I had some of these um, wooden um, stars and I just painted them white so I could stick them in the top blue section of my shutter and now I'm going to make a messy bow with some of my patriotic ribbon that I have these I got from Michael's Hobby Lobby I mean you name it I picked it up um, I always get my stuff on sale and these were like 50% off or 40% off so um, that's where I got all my ribbon and then I had this beaded beaded um, garland that I got last year I think when it was like 70% off they had this left over and I just um, popped some of that in here as well and all I'm doing is crisscrossing and doing like a messy bow I am NOT a good bow maker so these are the type of bows I like to make if they're super simple and then you just take a piece of twine and you just scrunch everything together in the middle and then you just kind of tie it real tight in the center with your twine or you can use even um, sometimes I use my floral wire to tie it together um, anything really and or you can use another piece of ribbon and tie it together really simple bow and, and then I just took the bow and I just kind of scrunched it up a little bit and then I stuck it down with my glue in the center of my little shutter and then I stuck down one of these little stars that were from the Dollar Tree as well and that's it for this DIY guys super simple and yet you would never know that these were vent covers <laughs> so I hope you guys like it and definitely check out monarch mom DIY I will have her link down below as well next I'm going on to DIY number two this DIY I got inspiration from crafty Kathy and I will have her link down below as well and what she did is she took one of these canvases from the Dollar Tree um, she took the stars from that sign there and also she used some um, big popsicle sticks that are from Walmart and I'm using of course my Waverly chalk paints so first what you do is I took out the canvas that is around sorry loud cards outside guys um, <laughs> can't help that and I just um, cut the canvas off around the frame. And I'm gonna keep the canvas because you can always do a reverse canvas with these. I really love doing that. 
And next, I came in with my 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 screwdriver. These staples were so hard to get out, guys. I don't know. I struggled with this. This was the hardest part of the craft was trying to get this canvas off of this um, frame. But um, I did get it off. It worked out. <laughs> and I sanded it down, which I don't show that on camera because you guys know it's super easy to sand down with some sandpaper. And then I went in with my Waverly Wax and Antique. And I just went in with a baby wipe and I just totally coated this really good with that because I wanted it to be dark because I'm going for that rustic patriotic look. That's the theme here. Patriotic and rustic. <laughs> and then once I get that all um, down, I put it aside. And then I, what I did is I measured my popsicle sticks. Um, they're the big ones that you get from Walmart. And... You're just going to um, line them across. I used six of them on this frame. I'm not sure how big this frame is though, guys. Sorry about that. But this is one of those basic frames that you get at Dollar Tree, you know, with the canvas on them. And I just measured them and then I just cut off the edges that I didn't need. And then I went in with my Crimson Red by Waverly and also the White by Waverly and I painted three in red and three in white because we're gonna alternate them and I just glued them to the back of the frame and sorry that footage got cut out somehow I don't even know how but then I took these solar flowers and what I did is I painted them with some of that blue ocean chalk paint by Waverly and then the crimson and I just kind of dry brushed them on the edges of the petals just to make them look red white and blue as well then I took those metal stars off of that off of this um, a picture frame from the Dollar Tree and I painted those with the blue ocean and then I went in with my Waverly wax and I just kind of dry brushed on top of that love sign that I got from Hobby Lobby and also the um, metal stars and then what I did is I raised this up a little bit with some cardboard so it kind of stuck out a little bit from my frame for my picture frame and then I just glued everything down. I glued down the stars in each corner. But I mean, you can make it any way you want to. And it just turned out so cute, you guys. I absolutely love how this one turned out. And then what I did is I decided to make a little messy bow with some twine. So I went in with this blue and white twine from the Dollar Tree and then that red and white. And all I did was wrap it around one of these cardboards that I had. And then I just tied it up in a knot with a little piece of the twine and you just tie it real tight and then you just go in with your scissors and you just cut the loops very simple and then I just trimmed them a little bit if any pieces were sticking out and just to make them even and I did the same thing with the um, red one and the regular jute twine and then I stuck one of those solo flowers on top and now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna glue this all down and stick it in the corner of my frame. And that's it, you guys. Super easy, super simple, and super cheap. <laughs> Those are kind my kind of DIYs. So there you go, guys. I hope you like this one too. Next, DIY number three. I got this one from Crafts with Ash DIY. Now she did a regular um, stainless steel pot. Um, I'm doing the patriotic one, but I'm gonna end up painting it anyways. I went in with the flag and some picks that I had and also some of the flowers that I purchased from Michaels that were on sale. And first I went in with my white Waverly chalk paint and my little spongy dauber tool that you can also get from Dollar Tree. And I just, what I do with these type of tins, I dab because it gives them a nice texture with the chalk paint and it also covers very, very well. And it doesn't leave any streaks. So that's what I really like to do with those. And then I went in with my burnt ombre paint. You can get this anywhere. I think also um, Apple Barrel says it, but I just had this on hand. And what I do is I go in and I dab it with my sponge, my makeup sponge with my little clothespin and I just dab around the edges and make it look rusty. That's what this does and I really like that look. So I like it to look weathered and um, like it's been outside for a while. And I just run around all the edges of it 
And also I did a few um, little dabs of it on the actual um, white part as well, just to make it look a little rusty. And that's what I really liked. And then I also stuck in some burlap and I went in with my um, floral foam because um, we're going to be putting the flowers in. And then I went around with some jute twine from the Dollar Tree and I ran around the um, rim of this and all the way around. And then I also did the handles with the smaller jute twine from the Dollar Tree just to give it more of a rustic look as well. And then I took one of these um, ribbons that you could buy at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna leave that as is, but I wanted to add something to it. So I took some of this ribbon that I've been using and I just made a simple bow with it and I just um, cut a piece off and made a circle with it and used my hot glue and then I cut some tails um, to, to stick on the back as well. Just really simple. I keep my bows really simple, guys, because like I said, I cannot make bows. So um, I keep trying, but I just can't get those big poofy ones. I just can't do it. So I just do these really simple. I mean, you guys can do them your way, but this is the way I do mine. And um, once I get that all glued on, I glued on the little tails on the back. And then I glued the front as well. And then I just came in with some of the twine from the Dollar Tree. And I just did a really good wrap around it um, just to give it more of that you know rustic um, look and um, it turned out really cute <laughs> I like my bows I don't know um, and yeah I glued it all down see what I did I just glued it down and then I just wrapped the twine around a few times and then I glued it and then I just stuck it to the front of my um, tin and then I'm gonna come in now next with um, some of those floral picks that I got from Michaels, like I said, I think they were 50% off and that's why I picked them up because they were super pretty. And I also am going to use some um, picks from the Dollar Tree as well. And as you can see, I started doing it <laughs> and then I forgot to turn my camera on and then I did. So you get to see it <laughs> and um, I'm glad I didn't forget the whole thing. And then I just started sticking them in where I wanted them, you know, to make them look super cute. And um, I used some of these black, red, white, and blue ones that were from like the Dollar Tree, like I said. And then I used some from Michaels. And then I also stuck some greenery in there as well. And then I stuck this big beaded pick that I got from Hobby Lobby, though it was 40% off. And, um, and stuck some more flowers in and just a bunch of different things. And you guys, you just make it the way you want, the way you like it for your house and your home, and just to make it look pretty and patriotic. And I think this turned out super cute, and it was super easy to make, guys. And there it is. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like the video. And um, if you do, I would love you to subscribe. Just hit that red subscribe button. I am gonna have everybody's links down below, and make sure you check out Unicorn Dust Designs by Sammy and also Christy Creates. And I want to thank them for allowing me to join. And I want to thank you all for watching. And remember, stay crafty. Bye.